Hey guys, today we're gonna make a professional business cards design and yeah, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe and watch until the end. So let's begin. Well, first we're gonna go to the dashboard here on the left and get a, a shape and we're gonna make a rectangle and the measurements for um, a business cards is 3.5 by 2 on standard. So uh, let's turn this into inches and let's do this 3.5 by 2. All right, so, but first we're going to turn this into a different color. Uh, I'm going to be using a Bezier, which is a very, um, I use this uh, tool a lot. It's located on the left on your dashboard you just go here and then get this here and pretty much what we're going to do first is highlight this uh, now you see the center which is here and here so we're going to drag um, one of these dotted lines and then do another one here and pretty much choose the center all right let's leave those there we can probably do this a little more to the right and drag another one because I'll show you why we're gonna do probably there okay all right now let's go to this here and we're gonna start here this here, you just connect the dots and you close it up where you started. We're going to click here and click here. Do another click. Click and click. All right. Now let's turn this black. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please hit me a like. And subscribe if you are new to my channel so that way it will help me keep growing and making more tutorials for you guys I really appreciate it and now let's do a second layer all right we're basically gonna follow the same shape it doesn't have to be perfect but as close as it can be you know what let's do this kind of like a triangle shape if we don't like it we can always change the setting or the color okay we can always change it no problem so yep you were right I didn't like it so we're gonna make this a little thicker you can always double click and just drag it and you will make this thicker see like this is what I mean double click double click and you will uh, stretch another shape there all right so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this um, probably we're gonna add another triangle shape here I seen this business cards and they're not really that difficult uh, you have the option to choose the color you want. You can do different type of uh, green or whatever color you can do. Um, any color you want. Uh, I think I like that one. Okay. We're going to keep it like that. So uh, let's pretend that this is for a landscaping company. Actually, you can do this side or this side, but we can... Uh, I'm gonna keep it like that so now let's do um, draw a leaf by the way if you haven't checked out the video on how I do this type of designs I invite you guys to check it out subscribe so you can see other tutorials because my channel is growing thanks to you and I really um, I'm really liking that you know we are growing now the channel so yeah subscribe and hit me that like so that way it helps me um, let's curve all 
and I'm going to be adding more tutorials, but I'm also uh, considering adding different uh, softwares because this channel was made for uh, software reviews and all that. So I might add more Luma Fusion or maybe other software. So, okay. Uh, let's add one dot here so we can get rid of that one. All right. Okay. It's taking shape and curve yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and 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 do more uh different softwares i'm about to uh start adding maybe more um of that um uh, web design or um i don't know i haven't decided uh because i know the basics on uh, WordPress and I might add a few more um, tutorials because I, I already have a few but again um, there's many 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 uh, things that we can do with um, WordPress and other softwares that we might be um, want to add later on but again I, I'm not sure okay so I don't know if you guys noticed that. Let, let's uh, erase that. You go here and go where it says basic shapes and tools. You pick that one and you see the list here. You can scroll down. You will see a cross, a water drop, a bolt, a heart, and there's many more shapes, even on. Uh, emoji I'm gonna show you later on on another video how to do emojis those are very trending right now and we're gonna do blue of course and uh, if you haven't checked out like I said I have other videos how to do um, this type of designs uh, with more detail right now I'm trying to you know we're focusing on uh, the business cards but um I have more more tutorials there that I can that you guys should check out my channel all right so uh, I don't know why it's not and you know why because this was a shape uh, let's do a range wealth and I think think we now can add yeah that's what the problem was all right see it now looks like water now I'm gonna put it here maybe add a few There's a lot of really nice, cool things you can do with Corel Draw. And you can add um, like a circle here, make it look like it's the reflection of the sun or the light. And it just would look like water. Okay, there we go. Now let's add a name. I like to do space because it makes the font looks and the design look better. Uh, the like I said on a different video, the font that you choose will also make an impact on the the logo because you gotta find the perfect font for your design. So. Uh, for now, we're going to do this, highlight, highlight the leaf, click C for center, and it is center now. All right. I have another tutorial there that I, uh, you guys should check out about how I do icons, which I'm going to add here. And again, if you haven't checked out the the video of how i do these icons here that i'm highlighting
go ahead and subscribe or check out my channel on how I make those icons. And now we're gonna add this information. And again, the fonts make a huge impact on a design. Okay, now, now we can just put like um, the profession, landscaping, or just professional, put this capital. Professional lawn care. And it doesn't have to be the same font because it'll be boring to use the same one all the time. So make sure you combine. And we're probably going to make this a little bigger. And I mean, whatever, you can add more stuff down here. Uh, it all depends on what the customer wants. Now we're going to add a QR code for their website. And there it is. There's the, the whole design. I mean, you can... Uh, make this maybe add two color combination uh, i've seen all types it's whatever your style is i usually send plain colors or mix them it's it's really whatever you want to do i don't think customers really care if you uh, send like solid colors based on my experience of what uh, you know type of customers i deal with but I mean, both, uh, either way, they look good. So anyway, thank you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I I'll be making more tutorials on this type of designs and also check out my channel, subscribe, give me a like, and yeah, I'll see you guys again on the next video. Thank you very much.